Have you ever been in a service and, and you just, just one of those sermons that just hits you and just changes your life? Uh, in 2002, I was in one of those services and it was first time in my life that it really struck me and I came face to face with the reality that I as a Christian had a responsibility to do something, to care, to do something about the condition of the world. And, and I, I just thought, well, if one person can change another person in the world, if you can sponsor a child and change that child's life, why can't a community come together and change a community? So I, I, I pitched the idea to our church and, and I, I shared my, my idea. What if we got Fredericton to come together and take on another community in the world. And the idea of Freddy Link was born at that moment. And there were two names of people in our congregation that kind of passionately came to the surface, and that was Bernie Zebarth and Heidi Billington. So us three musketeers, we launched into the city and started meeting with people in the city, pitching our idea. I remember the day I met with the mayor, I think, I think they thought that we were kind of crazy. So we are not, we're not just here as Canadians, we are here as humans. We have to be able to do our mission globally. Not only do we affect the community that we're going to help, but our own community starts saying, hey, you know what? These Christians are not just sitting around just talking about their religious views. They're actually making a difference in the world. And so we approached World Vision and we asked them if they would be interested in partnering with us. They'd never done that before. And, uh, but they were willing to give it a shot. Uh, in, and a partnership was developed with World Vision. Well, Freddie Link was really a pioneer. They really blazed the trail for what global partnership could look like. Uh, not only did they become one of our first global partnerships, but they really took an outside the box approach. They wanted to really engage not only their church, but their community as a whole in Fredericton. And so we started focusing on, on the Cobalt Call Hinch Haitian community and quickly just fell in love with the people there. Our team visited schools and classrooms, local management committees, met local nurses on home visits, clean water stations, uh, pre and postnatal clinic, met with older kids uh, that had graduated the program and they were, they were now moving on to, to uh, dreams in their, in, the, in their life. We met with families that wanted to tell us about the program uh, that helped them proud moms and dads about what they had accomplished. Uh, we left just amazed at the courage, the stamina. For me, it was just so impressive to see the joy in these kids. Because we have a, a quote in Creole that says, if we have life, we have hope. Haitians believe if they can live for tomorrow, things can change. So every day they live, they are living with this in mind. Hi. Hi, honey. How you doing? I got to see two of our sponsor kids. Um, oh, thank you for sending the pictures. They're just gorgeous. The, oh, the boy. Get this. I bought him soccer shoes and I didn't know what size it'd be, and they were the perfect size. Man, we got the right size. Yeah, that was... Isn't that cool? <clears throat> I met the most gorgeous people, happy, passionate people. It's just, I, I told Mark, I said, I'm wrecked. I'm just totally wrecked. It, it was very moving, extremely moving. So, oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> sleeping like look how oh, tiny so they tiny. are <laughs> say so it must be at least three months old if he's smiling like that look look 
So I think it's made the world come closer and realize that we're all brothers and sisters and we have so much to learn from each other. That it's not a top-down thing, it's not I'm in a privileged situation and look what I can do for you, but what, what benefit do I have from having you in my life as well? It's a partnership. Partnership isn't, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand you something, but partnership is as I hand you something, you're handing me something rich also. And our church has been hugely enriched by this. In 2013, we were here, they had just kind of built the schools, and then over the last year and a half, they've started with our WASH program and building. So the WASH program is the program that we did in, in, uh, in the church. And this is the result. Each time we go, we see tangible improvements. World Vision has a plan that works. It really works. And the more I learn about how it works, the more impressed I am. We can make a difference in our world. You believe that? We can make a difference in our world. Let's do this together. Are you satisfied that you actually made a difference in a place in the world? Oh, we made a huge difference. I just wish it could have been even more. Yeah. We should have a thousand children sponsored. Oh, <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs>